Previously on Naraji's Nook, I showed you how to make marking number 5 and 3 and also answering some of your questions on how to make marking numbers and letters. So if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to check it out right after this video. Meanwhile for today's video, show real. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora G. So today we will be making this beautiful glam vanity tray for perfumes. Okay, so this is all you will need for this DIY. I got this beautiful turntable base from Amazon for $12 only. It is 10 inches. I will have the link in the description box below. Before I carry on, I would love to welcome you if you're new to my channel and would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my family. And for my returning subscribers, you already know. I love you all. <laughs> all the items listed for this vanity tray DIY or glam vanity tray DIY are from Amazon and the Dollar Tree. Okay, so make sure to check out the list in the description box and a link to where you can actually get some of the items. Alright, now we're gonna get right into it, but first, I would love to acknowledge our sponsors for today, which is Dozier, a perfume brand. That is very well known, okay, for your luxurious perfume for less, okay? So I received these three lovely perfumes from Dozier. Did you know that Dozier has a welcome offer of up to 20% on your website? Yes, you can get up to 30% off your first order by using the discount code, okay? The discount code will be NORA10. The extra 10% applies at the checkout on top of the welcome offer, so please do head over there and start smelling good for less. And now back to our DIY glam vanity tray. Let's get started. First, we want to glue our Brevard mirror. So I'm using an octagon mirror. This is a 12 inch mirror, just like you saw from the start of this video. And we'll be gluing the turntable underneath using my hot glue. So you could also use Gorilla Glue for this, but plastic and hot glue do bind very well. So I'll be using just that for this. Just watch as I do this. There is a way to create a tent table. So I will be showing you guys later in another video on how to create a tent table if you do not have money to purchase one. But for this video, we will be using that from Amazon. Next, I will be putting some embellishments at the brim of my beveled um, 12 inch octagon mirror. You could also use a round mirror or a square mirror for this project. I already had this mirror at home, so I just thought why not use it. So the gold embellishments that I am currently using around the edges of this mirror actually are from the Dollar Tree and they are actually soft adhesive. However, I'm using Gorilla Glue because this area of this tray will be the most handled and I need for this to be very, very um, adhered to like really, really strong. So that is why I am using uh, Gorilla Glue for this. Another alternative would be to use Tacky Glue. Because once it cures, it is also really, really good. It is just as good as Mod Podge, which you can also use for this project. So I will put those first prior to putting my embellishments. So just watch as I complete this. Using gold for this is my personal preference. So it is up to you to use whatever color you want to use here. Um, another alternative would be silver, but if you're a colorful person and you just want something all colorful or rainbow dollar store does carry different bits and embellishments in different colors i realized as i went on that it was easier for me to use tacky glue for this than gorilla glue because it was easily controlled okay so you do not want to stain your mirror before you actually get to using it the next step will be for me to put the embellishments on these rings, which I also got from the dollar store. I was actually quite surprised to see the flat rings because so far I have always seen the rounded ones. So when I did see this one, I was more than happy and just got at uh, the few that I found. I think I only found 12. Uh, reason why I will be doing the style I will be doing in this DIY. Alright, so I wish I had more, but we will make do of what we have. So just watch as I complete this. 
One thing I liked about these rings was the fact that they were already gold. I didn't have to spray paint them. So no spray painting anything today <laughs> once again. And so I'm just putting the gold embellishments over it. I think silver embellishments over this will also look just as good, but I already had gold. So again, we're sticking with gold. While I set the rings aside to dry properly, I went ahead to use this beautiful crystal. Crystal like diamonds from Amazon. Dollar Tree also carries this, but they carry them in small packages. However, I needed a lot more, so I decided to buy this off of Amazon. So I will be putting this on the edge of the beveled mirror using my tacky glue. Just watch as I complete this. I would like to mention here that you want to be very careful when you're doing this part, especially with the tacky glue because you do not want to soil your mirror before you actually get to using it. So I was using a toothpick to actually control the amount of tacky glue I was putting on there and also for easy placement of my gemstones. So these are not actual diamonds, hello, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we all know that. But they are gorgeous guys, they are very very beautiful, more than the camera actually depicts. I would not recommend using hot glue for this part because these gemstones are very very delicate, they're very small and uh, hot glue can get pretty messy as well with the webs that it keeps forming and all of that so I would not recommend that for this particular part especially because we want to keep our work neat uh, and also because you want this to actually bind for the longest time which tacky glue is going to provide you that option. You could also use Mod Podge for this, alright? So this will not cure instantly. I had to leave this overnight for it to cure properly and it dries clear. So it was very, very beautiful the following day once it was properly cured. Just watch as I finish this. Well, we almost missed it. So we are at that part of the video you guys already know. If you've watched right up to this point, please do comment perfume tray in the comment section and show your girls some love. Thank you and now let's carry on. When I said this was an easy high-end vanity tray DIY, I wasn't joking. So this is the last part of our DIY, which would be us basically adhering the um, the rings, the gold rings, on four of the different corners of our octagon mirror. Okay, so there are eight corners. We're only going to put in, uh, this on four corners. So I use the dossier pack to actually support my work while it cures because I'm using a combination of uh, Gorilla Glue and Hot Glue. Okay, so Gorilla Glue takes a while to cure. Hot Glue cures right away. So it makes perfect sense to use a combination of both for an easy and faster working pace. At this point, we're pretty much done. However, I decided to add a little bit of an embellishment around the rings, just one of each around the gold rings, just so it kind of like, um, you know, add a flare. There's always an extra flare when it comes with me and DIYs. <laughs> All right, so once we're done here, just stick with me. You will love the final result, especially in use, as I will show you how I displayed my perfumes using this beautiful high-end looking glam vanity tray just look at the details on this thing the perfect amount of glam i just love it so of course i had to show the display of my beautiful perfumes from dossier very affordable guys so make sure to check out the link in the description box and don't forget to use my discount code and get yourself smelling good I very much love how this turned out. I just love the details and just how simple yet elegant looking this vanity tray is. And so of course I had to display my and my husband's perfume on here. I just love how this looks guys. It is amazing. My husband loved it. So yeah, do go ahead and give this a try and do let me know in the comment section if you will be trying this sometime. I am a little obsessed with scents, candles and perfumes, body mist as you can see. So I was very very surprised when I actually um, was putting this together on the vanity tray at how much perfume and body mist I actually 
have <laughs> however they're never enough okay so yeah <laughs> Once again, do let me know if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section. I will be more than happy to chat with you all in the comment section. With that said, that will bring us to the end of this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and join my family and turn on notifications so you do not miss videos like this okay in the meantime always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you and create a vanity tray for all your perfumes thank you <laughs>